You won't believe which Premier League player eats chicken feet every night for dinner. Keep watching to find out. Chicken, chicken feet. feet. Chicken feet. Ever wondered what fuels the world's top footballers? Prepare to be shocked as we uncover the bizarre eating habits of your favourite players. From chicken feet to cow's hearts, these athletes' diets will either leave you hungry or speechless. Haaland's unconventional diet. Haaland, hailed as a physical marvel, owes his incredible physique not just to luck, but to a meticulously planned daily routine. Consuming around 6,000 calories a day, Haaland's diet is a crucial part of his life. Unlike many footballers who opt for vegan diets, Haaland unabashedly loves meat, including unconventional choices like cow's hearts and livers. Growing up in a rural community in Norway where he assisted his grandfather, a farmer, might explain Haaland's preference. In the documentary Erling Haaland The Big Decision, he emphasises the importance of quality, locally sourced food over fast food. Jamie Vardy's Port Routine During Leicester City's remarkable Premier League title triumph in the 2015-2016 season, striker Jamie Vardy had an unconventional pre-game ritual involving port wine. Vardy revealed in his autobiography that he would drink a glass of port mixed with Lucozade the evening before every match. Despite its peculiar nature, Vardy attributed his success to this routine, claiming it helped him relax and sleep better before games. Besides port, Jamie Vardy also starts his mornings with a burst of energy, drinking a Red Bull as soon as he wakes up. I wake up in the morning, Red Bull. Straight away? Straight yeah. away, out of bed. Okay. Literally, I get, get out of bed, get, yeah. get the kids up, go downstairs, get them the breakfast sword and yeah. I'm straight in to get a Red, Red Bull. Bull. Alex Song's KFC addiction. While most players adhere to strict dietary rules, former Arsenal midfielder Alex Song had a unique approach to fueling up before games. Song enjoyed a successful career at the top level with the Gunners, Barcelona and West Ham. Song's old teammate Emmanuel Frimpong claimed that he'd eat a KFC before each game at the Emirates. Frimpong told The Telegraph in 2018, then there was Song, who used to go to KFC before every home game. On the bus to the team hotel the night before the game, he would be eating chicken nuggets, Timo's pasta and ketchup. Tottenham Hotspur's Timo Werner is known for his incredible speed and agility on the pitch, but he has garnered attention for his unconventional diet. One of the most notable aspects of Timo Werner's diet is his unconventional choice of food combinations. And then pasta with ketchup is much better. OK, pasta with ketchup is just disgusting. He's been known to enjoy meals such as pasta with ketchup and ham and admitted it was the only meal he made during lockdown. While pasta is a common source of carbohydrates for many athletes, pairing it with ketchup may seem strange to some. Townsend's chicken feet. And every night for dinner I eat chicken feet. Chicken, chicken feet. feet. Chicken feet. Steamed chicken feet. Townsend, known for his agility on the pitch, swears by an unlikely source of nutrition, chicken feet. Each night, Townsend indulges in steamed chicken feet, rich in collagen and believed to aid in recovery and performance. He believes that the protein and collagen from the bones have improved his performance on the pitch. Collagen in the chicken feet, there's the cartilage, there's basically so much goodness that now they put into pills and put into shots that the daily pills you take yeah, at yeah, training yeah, yeah. is mainly from chicken feet. Collagen, found in connective tissues like skin and ligaments, makes up a significant portion of the body's protein. Some people consume collagen-rich foods for their purported health benefits, especially as the body's natural collagen production slows down after the age of 25. So, while Townsend's choice may seem unconventional, there could be some merit to it. It just goes to show what works for one player may not work for another. It's fair to say these diets are unconventional when we think of football players, but for some, there is method behind the madness. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more.